loyalty, duty, honor. Anderson, you're you're talking crazy. Wait. Anderson, where the fuck are you? You think you're gonna fuck us, Taliban? We're gonna fuck you. Well, cut, cut. New show. Any uh. Everybody keeps asking, what was the inspiration for the show? Well, the actual inspiration for the show was when Josh and I just got done smashing each other out, mm -hmm. and we're relaxing, we start telling war stories, and I start telling him about my company commander in Afghanistan. My company commander who I felt like never took war as seriously as he should have. And coming from me, that's weird to say, because I don't take anything seriously. But the guy didn't take the orders process seriously, he didn't take preparing for combat operations seriously. And I was certain this guy was gonna get us killed. I was so certain because we had so many close calls, me and the other lieutenants and staff sergeants, we were talking, we were like, yo, one of us is dying. Guaranteed, one of us is fucking dying. One, I say again, uh, you will conduct a full BDA before sundown and you will report anything you find back to me no later than 2200. That anger that we felt, this motherfucker, how the fuck is he a company commander in charge of a marine rifle company in Afghanistan and he's not doing his job? He's not preparing for these combat missions, using the orders process. He's not running rehearsals mercilessly. He's not wargaming shit. And then when I tried to take charge on a couple of occasions, running war games for the company, he kind of shamed me and was just like, oh, you're trying too hard. Fucking ease up, buddy. And I'm like, what? this motherfucker. So naturally, what did I do? Is I talked about killing him all the time. I mean, all the time in the tent, the lieutenants and staff sergeants. I usually led the conversation about killing him and then they jumped in and we all talked about the funny ways in which we would kill our company commander, right? So we treated it with a sense of humor and with these fantasies, which is the same thing that the junior enlisted guys were doing. Maybe about some of the platoon commanders too. <laughs> But that's the frustration that exists when you are underneath leadership that you don't respect and that you feel oppressed by. That frustration and that anger in combat, it gets severely amplified because our lives are at stake. Anderson, there's at least one officer here who gives a shit about his career. No fucking way, man, are you crazy? So I tell the story to Josh and he thought we could shape this into a show. And the show, each episode could reveal this company commander who's pretty likable not everyone likes him. He's a fucking Captain America kind of guy, but he's incompetent as fuck. He does not know what's going on. His image and his vision of Afghanistan, of the people that were there to help, of the enemy, and of his own troops, his perception and perspective is fucked up. And he ultimately gets his unit into trouble by going to this, uh, execute a key leader engagement with some of the leaders of a town. You don't need a translator to build a relationship. And I don't want to reveal too much, but he makes a lot of mistakes. And in the end, the way the whole battle gets presented to higher leadership was in a way that he looks great. So what do they do? They write him up for a fucking award, which is exactly what happened with my company commander in Afghanistan. We went through all this bullshit. And then after I found out he was being written up for a bronze star with V, okay? I lost my shit. I lost my shit and I wrote a 10 page fucking letter to the battalion executive officer. And I was just like, look, sir, this guy cannot get an award for this. He can't. He almost got us fucking killed. But sir, we can safely move across and join with friendly units to take out the Taliban. Well, I'm not gonna tell you what actually happened in real life, but all of that frustration got built up into this show where this company commander also gets written up for a bronze star with V. And now we have the battalion adjutant who is played by Donut Operator, who, as he reads the award, he also references combat footage. And he's like, what's written on this award write-up is not what I'm seeing in this footage. And so each episode, we reveal a little bit more of the combat footage to let you know the contradictions between what actually happened and what gets written up in the award, which is, in my personal experience, exactly what fucking happens in real life. So, what inspired the show? It was that real experience that I had in Afghanistan with my company commander that then got married up with Josh's experiences with his entire company. I don't know 
What were your, did you have experiences with your company commander that were similar? No, it was actually even at a lower level. It was, it was platoon leaders and platoon sergeants. Oh, okay. And so they were getting, uh, so when I, I was in Iraq in 0304, like OF1, and when we got back, there was even just kind of a blanket thing. Basically, if you were at a platoon leader, platoon sergeant level or, or above, you walked away with a bronze star mm -hmm. for the deployment, no matter what, didn't yeah. matter. And some absolute shitbag NCOs walked away with, I mean, people that made us miserable, that that, that risked lives and and, uh, and got people hurt, if not killed. Uh, yeah, we're walking away with bronze stars. They're just giving them out like candy. I got an Arcom out of it, so. So Great. he's stoked? Sure, <laughs> you, you won't see that on my resume, but I have one. Um, yeah, so no, it's, they're, they're, it's, it's yeah, it's it's a very real frustration. I, I know, I personally, as someone who went in to, you know, someone who signed up because of 9-11 and went in and really believed in just about all the romantic elements of the military, that was one of the biggest crushing things because the military awards are so built up and they're so honorable and people put them in display cases and you hear about bronze and silver stars and medals of honor. First deployment, damn. And then, you get to your actual unit, you serve in war, and you see who actually gets awards. And honestly, it makes you question every award I've ever heard about. Yes. Like, even all the ones you hear about, these heroes in World War II and Korea and Vietnam, you're like, how many of these are bullshit? Probably yes. a lot, like, unfortunately, you know? And we all want it to be great. We want the, the award system to live up to what it should be, but unfortunately, the practicality is it doesn't. So that's why we made this. Yeah. So big fuck you. So all the bullshit awards who've ever been written for people who didn't deserve them. But Ty, did you have any personal experiences with awards? Uh, it's very similar, very similar. You guys pretty much hit everything, whether it's, you know, senior enlisted officers or junior, all the way down to platoon level to include, you know, uh, NCOs and whatnot. People getting things that they didn't deserve is fucking frustrating, really. Uh, I'm telling them we got something coming out for them. Yeah. Clearly, Matthias is still reeling off the frustration. We're, all, we're bringing it back right now. His enlistment is recent, though. It's still fresh. It is, yes, it is. You're fucked. So, that was the inspiration for V for Valor. It, it comes from a place of truth and truthful and genuine anger and frustration that we experienced while actually fighting for our country or trying to. And what we hope is that everyone who's also felt this is going to feel validated. They're going to feel like, oh my God, yeah, these guys get it. It was just like that. And then we hope that the comments are filled with your stories. Because that's what, that's what all of that TV stuff looks like. It's like, we share these stories that we get from you guys. And then in the comments, you guys say, oh my God, that's so funny. Something similar happened to me. This guy did this, this, and this, and that, this, and that. And that's what the comments look like. And so by sharing these stories, it connects us together. That's important part of community building. So in addition to us airing out frustration, we're also trying to build community, and then we're trying to be a catalyst for change so that hopefully millions of people see this thing. And then there, there, now there's this big conversation happening about the military award system, and newspapers and blogs are writing on the military award system. We gotta get this thing in the fucking Army Times. Vet TV nails a satire on the military award system. Vet TV exposes the military award system for the joke that it is. Right, so those are the headlines that come out of this. Well, the government's gonna read it, and now they're gonna rethink their award system, and then hopefully change happens. And so that's how we can be a catalyst for positive change in our community, in our world, in our government. So there's V for Valor. Hope you guys fucking love it. I know you will. It's gonna be hilarious and sick and twisted and everything we wanna see out of Vet TV shit. Five bucks a month, no excuse. Shut the fuck up and subscribe now. <laughs> Just kidding. Please subscribe. Love you guys.